Okay, this example showed that we have designed four qubits on the chip. Um, just due to some reason, I'm going to cut the connection between these two qubits. I export it from Qiskit Metal. I delete all the pad, right? So now I only have four resonators. These four resonators are supposed to have resonance frequency from uh, 7 gigahertz, 6.8 gigahertz, 6.6 gigahertz, and 6.4 gigahertz. So how can I check uh, if I'm designing the right thing? Earlier, I showed you that how to extract the effective uh, dielectric constant in another video. And then we use quarter wavelength right, to design it. But it might not be accurate, right? So let's see if uh, this is correct. So we have four different frequencies. Now, the first thing is that uh, after we export this from Qiskit Metal to here, uh, if uh, you are interested in quality factor, you need to add a port, RLC port, to the uh, one of the place. I think the most reasonable place is the FIFU 9, right? Because this is where your system talk to the uh, uh, outside world, right? So I'm going to click on this, and then I will zoom in, use my middle button, and then I will try to click on here, and then try to draw a box. Some more so that I can that's interesting okay click on this and then zoom out and then I'm going to right click and then say assign boundary okay uh, lum LLC so it has 50 ohms right I also need to define the full nine then I just click on one of the nine and zoom in and then click here and then say OK, right? So see this port is connecting the ground plane to the input port. So I'm going to do the same thing, fit all. I will just zoom at this region, right? Then this is the output. And I'm going to do, uh, again, draw a, a rectangle. Zoom in again to here. I believe it is here, right? Out a little bit and then right click and then I say assign boundary lum LLC resistor 50 ohm and then uh, if I new line uh, and then just click one of the point stop here say okay okay so I've defined the boundary and am I right okay yeah okay good now then another thing is that about the mesh. If you just run it as it is, the mesh might not be good. So I, to be careful, what I did is I click on each of the component because these are all these are the part of the resonator. Click on it, Control, and then uh, let me see. Uh, click on it, Control. Click on it. Right. Just be very careful. Make sure that you're selecting the right thing. If not, just zoom in more. Right, zoom out, and then I also want to uh, click on this one. Control, click on it, right? So I highlight everything, right? So I'm going to right click and then just say, uh, what's that? Assign mesh operation on selection, length base. I'm going to put it 0, 0.0. Uh, Five, I believe so, right? But I already done it, right? So uh, then just say okay. So I already done it here. If you look at the mesh, I have length one, 0 0.05. It refers to each of this resonator. So I have four of them. I try to separate them. Uh, separate them. You can combine them, right? Now, how about the fifth rule? Now, do I need to do that? I find that I don't have to because when it starts solving, it will refine pretty well. So I don't need to do anything. So with that, I have four different uh, mesh. Uh, I increase the mesh criteria, right? And then another thing I need to do is to do the analysis. I can just say uh, add solution setup, right? And then you do it, right? So I already did it. Uh, here I ask for six more because I have four more at least, right? I want to add two, or two more modes to avoid any problem. Indeed, it helped me a lot. 
I found a very big problem when I uh when I had these two QB connected together, but that is another issue I don't want to discuss now. I start with the minimum frequency of three gigahertz, right? Uh, this is ten. Uh, not at maximum number of passes is ten. Um, I ask it at least to have five, and looks pretty okay. Convergence, uh, two passes, uh, each time ten percent error. You can try to tighten it to see what it looks like. I'm running on laptop, so I want it to be fast. Now with this, uh. Because I have added this boundary condition, I will be also able to see the quality factor. Okay, now I do. I I'm interested in the mesh, and that's why I want to uh, highlight everything, right? See the everything, but I don't want to uh, look at the mesh of the vacuum. I just say control, and then uh, just click on this uh, vacuum sample. Then it will then it will see like everything except the vacuum. And then I right click, I say prop mesh. This is mesh two. Okay, so everything is okay now, right? So I'm going to run it. I will just say uh, analyze all. So it's going to take some time to run. I'm going to pause this video and then when it is done, I will continue. So while it is running, it's uh, instructive to look at the mesh. I turn on this mesh tool, right? And now let's look at the mesh from the top, fit all. You see, it is very coarse at the beginning, right? Even if you look at this part, okay, actually it is refining. But if you look at the FIFU 9, it is very coarse, right? So let's just wait, right? After uh, more passes and let's see uh, how it looks like. I will just pause the video again. Okay, the simulation has finished and uh, I guess the mesh might be denser, but I'm not sure. But anyway, let's look at the results, right? So I can just click on here to plot it. Uh, but I can also, if you don't have this, just say create eigen mode parameter report, rectangular plot. Then you choose eigen mode, choose all the mode you want. Uh, can have the real parts and then choose adaptive parts. Uh, since it only will have one data point of each, right? So I just want to see how it converges as, as a function of passes. Now you look at this, what do we get? We got 6.3 uh, gigahertz, 6.5, 6.7, 6.9, more than that, right? Uh, our design goal was 7, 7.8. Right, seven, which give us six point nine three, seven point eight, six point seven six, six point six is six point five one and six point four six point three three. Not bad, right? So uh the effective dielectric constant we calculated was pretty accurate. That is one thing. And let's look at the plot of the Q. Uh not this one again because this one uh does not sweep, right? So here we sweep the uh what do you call it? the uh the passes right so uh it's uh in lot scale so this is difficult to see so i'm going to do escape escape the uh, marker mode and then i click on here right click and uh how do i do that maybe I just double click instead of right click double click and look at y axis and oh, am i recording yes and then uh, I'm going to choose the log scale. Where is that? Y1 scaling, maybe. And then, yeah, instead of linear, I'm going to do, do log, apply. Okay. Now, we can look at the, uh, what do you call it? the Q factor, right? Now, the good thing is that you see this Q5, Q6 are very low, but these are not the mode we are interested in, right? Uh, we are interested in this uh, Q1 to Q, the first four mode, right? So they are all about, about maybe, uh, let me zoom in. Zoom area. Right. They're in the order of 10,000 or above. Okay. Not 20,000, but does not reach 20,000, right? Now, there's another thing is that how do I know these four lower mode are what I want, right? So what I can do is to plot them, 
plot the uh, magnetic field uh, of it, right? So I go back to the structure. Let me turn off the mesh. Right click the mesh, plot visibility. And what I'm going to do is fit all. Again, I want to just select everything. Select everything, but unselect control, unselect the vacuum, right? And then I say right click, and then I request to plot field, plot um, the magnetic field, I mean electric field. Okay, so now it is plotting, right? Okay, what do you see? I see this, right? This highlights are showing that the, the energy, where the energy are, right? But based on this, I cannot say too much yet. So I will go to HFSS. I go to uh, fields at this sources, right? HFSS field at this sources, right? Now I'm checking the six mode, right? So I try to apply one joule of energy of energy to uh, mode one, apply. So what is mode one? It's the lowest frequency one, right? And that is this region. This one, this is the resonator that we designed to have uh, how many? 6.4 gigahertz. Okay, so let me turn this off. Apply mode 2 and see where the energy uh, resides. Right. It's here. Okay. And then uh, mode 3. This should be in another resonator. Which is this one. Yeah. And then the finally, the last mode, if we do it right, would be uh, on this resonator, right? This is the last one, right? So good, right? So have, we have uh, uh, four frequencies, uh, they match our calculation, and their energy really reside on here. And then, of course, we have higher uh, mode, and no need to worry, right? Because they are way above what we're interested in. They're in the 10 gigahertz range. And in our system, we will do the filter, make sure that they have no effect. Okay, so that is how you do the eigenmode analysis and how you uh, investigate if you have the right uh, resonator and eigen energy.